What happens when the world's deadliest lizard meets the planet's most powerful predator? A 10-foot venomous killing machine versus a 20-foot armored tank with the strongest bite on Earth. One has venom that can drop a water buffalo. The other can crush a car with its jaws. Today, we're settling this once and for all. Which reptile would win in a fight to the death? Hit that like button if you're ready for the most epic animal showdown ever. And let's dive in. First up, the Komodo dragon. This isn't just any lizard people. This is a 10 foot, 370 pound monster that's basically a real life dragon. Those teeth, they're not just sharp, they're literally reinforced with iron. And here's the kicker that blew my mind. Recent research suggests Komodos may have venom glands that could affect blood pressure and clotting though scientists are still debating whether it's true venom or toxic bacteria in their saliva. Here's what's terrifying. Despite being called dragons, they're real. Only 4,000 left on Earth, and they can smell rotting meat from miles away. They'll track wounded prey for days until it bleeds out. If this is already blowing your mind, smash that subscribe button. This gets way crazier. Now, meet the saltwater crocodile. And guys, the numbers are absolutely insane. This beast has a bite force of 3,700 PSI. That's the strongest bite force ever recorded on the planet. To put that in perspective, that's enough force to snap a bowling ball in half. We're talking about a 20-foot, 2,200-pound apex predator that's been perfecting the art of killing for 200 million years. Those bony plates on its back, they're literally bulletproof armor. And here's what makes them unstoppable. They can hold their breath underwater for extended periods, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. They're like submarines with teeth. Okay, let's talk numbers that'll shock you. Komodo Dragon Bite Force, just 39 Newtons. That's weaker than a house cat's bite. But before you think that makes them weak, their venom is their secret weapon. One bite injects toxins that literally make you bleed to death. Your blood pressure drops, you can't clot wounds, and you go into shock. The crocodile, pure, devastating power. 3,700 PSI of bone-crushing force. That's like having a hydraulic press for jaws. But here's where it gets interesting. The Komodo has speed and agility. On land, it can sprint up to 12 miles per hour in short bursts. The Croc, clumsy and slow on land, but an underwater powerhouse. The Ultimate Deathmatch Scenarios. Scenario 1. Land Battle Royale. Drop a crocodile if you think the Croc wins, or a dragon for Team Komodo. Your engagement literally helps this channel reach more people. Every like and comment pushes this video to new viewers. Picture this. Open ground. Nowhere to hide. A massive male Komodo faces off against an adult saltwater crocodile out of water. The croc lunges first. Those massive jaws could end it instantly. But the Komodo is fast. It dodges, circles around, and bam! Sinks those iron reinforced teeth into the croc's throat. Now it's a race against time. Will the croc's armor protect it, or will the venom slowly shut down its systems? My prediction? If the Komodo can avoid those crushing jaws for just two to three minutes, and land multiple venomous bites, it wins. But one mistake, game over. Scenario 2. Shoreline Ambush. Now imagine this nightmare scenario. A Komodo hunting near water, not knowing a 20-foot croc is lying just beneath the surface. The crocodile explodes from the water like a missile. No warning, no escape. In its element, the croc is absolutely unstoppable. This isn't even a fight, it's an execution. The Komodo gets dragged underwater and it's over in seconds. Scenario 3. The Ultimate Territorial War. But what about a full-blown territorial battle? Both predators at maximum aggression, fighting for survival. The Komodo uses hit-and-run tactics, slashing at the croc's softer underbelly and jaw joints. Each bite injects more venom, more toxins. The croc retaliates with devastating tail sweeps and tries to land that kill shot with its jaws. This is where intelligence matters. Both are smarter than people think, but the croc's armor gives it the edge to outlast the venom. All right, here's the truth that might surprise you. In most scenarios, the saltwater crocodile wins. Here's why. Raw power, the croc's bite is 95 times stronger. Armor, those bony plates are nearly indestructible. Size, we're talking about a tank versus a sports car. But, and this is huge, the Komodo has that Venom trump card. In the right conditions, on land, with room to maneuver, it could actually take down a crocodile through pure toxicity. The real kicker? Komodo attacks on humans are extremely rare. 
fewer than 40 documented cases in recent decades, with very few fatalities. These dragons are more strategic than savage. So, who's the ultimate reptilian ruler? The crocodile wins on raw power, but the Komodo wins on cunning and chemical warfare. Here's what's really important, guys. Both these incredible predators need our help. Komodo dragons are endangered, with less than 4,000 left. Even mighty saltwater crocs needed decades of protection to recover. Your engagement on this video literally helps spread awareness about these amazing creatures. Every like, every comment, every share helps us reach people who've never seen this kind of content. Want to actually help these species? Check the description for links to Komodo National Park conservation efforts and crocodile research organizations. So here's what I need from you right now. One, smash that like button if this blew your mind. Two, subscribe to Speculative Science hit the bell. I promise every video will be this epic. Three, comment below, Team Komodo or Team Croc? Tell me why. Four, share this with someone who loves crazy animal facts. What animal battle should we cover next? Grizzly bear versus Siberian tiger? Great wife versus orca? Your comments decide our next epic showdown. Remember, in nature, there are no villains, only survivors. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next wild adventure.